daughter, when, when my daughters were in school, every day was a battle to get teachers to do what they've already, already signed on and chose to do. But what ultimately happened with my daughter, as a result of me having meetings and having high expectations for my child, my daughter ended up getting assaulted by a teacher in the school in which her arm was broken into the bone was sticking through the skin. And when that happened to her, they allowed her to stay in the school all day long without contacting emergency personnel or parents. Can you imagine child abuse in our public education system? When we first moved here in the district office, they were trying to put my daughter in a self-contained classroom. I didn't agree with that, so we had an IEP meeting. In the IEP meeting, as a parent, I got to say nothing. Every time that I opened my mouth to say, talk about the wishes or the expectation of my child, they were telling me what they were going to do. I had no power at all to make a decision about my child. In the school district, they operate like a gang. You know, I shared with you about the student was bullying my daughter in the school. Went to the administrators, talked to them about it. They in turn turned it on me and said that I'm putting these notions in my daughter's head. And the fact that they're not documented means that it's not documented, so my, my concerns are not valid. You got documents coming home in which they say your daughter had a great day did exceptionally well in class. But when that parent asked that meeting, the whole ball of wax changed immediately. There's a lot of corruption that happens within the school in your interaction with the staff. They don't worry about anybody um, holding them accountable. There is no accountability. And if there's no accountability, what's going to drive you to do the right thing by students? These people are in place to get paid. And when they get paid, they can care less because they feel that entitlement that they're in control. Children are denied an opportunity to get an education in the public system. But with school choice, Parents can pull the power back. There'll be some accountability. There'll be opportunities for our children to get an education which increases their life chances. And that's what I want for my daughters. The time is now. Our legislators, our, our senators, these people that, that, that said that they wanted to work to make their community better, this is a way to do it. This is an answer to all the parents' prayers of wanting children who can acquire an education.